Hi everyone, my name is Jiang Zhang and I'm a PhD student from USC, supervised by Professor Constantinos. Today I will present our new work, Harpo, Learning to Subvert Online Behavior Advertising. This is a joint work with Harun and Professor Zubair from UC Davis. My mm -hmm. presentation consists of the following parts. First, I will give a brief introduction about online behavior advertising. As we know nowadays, online behavior advertising relies heavily on privacy invasive tracking techniques for user profiling and the subsequent ad targeting. It poses a real privacy threat to web users. Existing privacy enhancing tools can be classified into three types. The first type is called privacy by design, which is proposed by Apple. However, it can use, only be used for iOS system. The second type of solution is called blocking, such as ad blockers. Blocking is a defensive method, but it can be circumvented by trackers very easily. And most importantly, it will kill the advertising ecosystem completely. The third solution is obfuscation, such as ad nauseum and track this. Obfuscation tools are usually offensive and they are more ecosystem friendly compared with blocking tools. However, existing obfuscation approaches are not principled and stealthy. Before presenting our solution, we will first describe our threat model, which involves two parts, the user and the tracker. The user will visit web pages and the tracker will perform user profiling and ad targeting based on the content of the web pages visited by users. However, privacy leakage can happen since the tracker can know exactly what the user interests are. In order to protect such privacy, we assume that the user will mislead the tracker via an obvious cattle. And the obvious cattle should be seamless, which means the user can still browse the web pages naturally without being affected by the obvious cattle. And it should be stealthy in that the tracker cannot train an adversary detector to detect the usage of this obvious cattle and it should have low overhead in terms of minimizing the number of obfuscation URLs. We assume that the tracker is a third party to provide advertising and tracking services. We make two main assumptions for a tracker. First, it should have complete coverage of a user's browsing profile. Second, it should have substantial computation resources to train machine learning model for tracking. Both of these two assumptions are very strong. Specifically, we consider two real-world tracking models. The user profiling model. The first one is a user profiling model, where the input is the user persona and the output are interest segments. We, here are some examples. Here are an example of interest segments from Arc Data Broker. And we choose Oracle Data Broker since it combines data from more than 17 trackers like Acquire Web, Cross IX, and Visa. The second model is the ad targeting model, where the input is the user persona and the output are bid values placed by bidders. Note that the ad targeting model is a subsequent step of user profiling, since bidders may rely on the user profiles they build in order to decide the optimal bid values. Next, we present our approach, Harpo. First, we will give a, I will give an overview of Harpo. At high level, Harpo interleaves users' web page visits with obfuscation web page visits. It starts by taking, extracting the content, content features of web pages visited by users and featureize them using docu document embeddings. Note that we extract the content features of web page. 
since the user profiling threat model is based on content. Next, it will train an IL agent to select the obfuscation URLs in order to maximize the reward. The reward in our application is the privacy metric we define. Finally, the URL agent will inject the obfuscation URL, interleaving them with the URLs visited or clicked by users. Next, we talk, we describe the privacy metrics we define. For user profiling model, we define two privacy metrics. The first one is defined as the percentage of false interest segments after obfuscation. Namely, in other words, it measures the false positive rate of user profiling model after obfuscation. The second metric is defined as the difference between segments before and after obfuscation. It represents the number of absolute number of added segments and removed segments. The third metric is the percentile of increased high bids caused by obfuscation. And the fourth metric is the average ratio of bid values after obfuscation over the one before. Next, we describe our system model. As we described before, we model the obfuscation URL selection process as a Markov decision process, while the stat at stop is defined as the visited URLs up to obfuscation step T. Action AT is defined as one obfuscation URL category. The reward RT is defined as the re any one of the privacy metric after obfuscation step T and, bef and before obfuscation step T. Finally, the policy will output the probability distribution of obfuscation URL category selection. Next, we describe the system design of Harpo. Harpo consists of four modules. The first one is the content feature extraction module. It will convert each URL into a doc to vector embedding. The second module is the IL agent, where the policy network is modeled as a convolutional neural network and LSTM. We train IL agent using A2C. We provide more technical details in our paper. The third module is the target model, which replicates real world user profiling and ad target models. We train a target model in order to use it as a virtual environment for efficient training of reinforcement learning, such that we don't need to frequently interacting, interact with the real world models during training. The last module is a URL agent which is implemented as a broader extension. In order to evaluate the performance of Harpo, we first need to construct user personas, like user persona data. We specific, in total, we construct 25,000 user personas, where 10,000 with length 20 for target model training, and 50,000 with length 100 for IL agent training and we use urban WPM to construct user personas. After we construct these personas, we will collect the interest segments from Oracle Data Broker. Then we will also collect the bids from header bidding and neighborhood bidding sites. Next, we use the collect user persona data to train the target model first. In total, we train 20 user profiling target models. Each one of these target models will predict whether a specific interest segment is triggered by the user persona or not. We report that our true positive rate for this 20th elder profiling model is 96%. We also train 10 ad targeting target models. Each of these models will predict whether a bidder will play will place high bid or not for a given ad slot. The average true positive rate for this ad target model is 73%. We conclude that our target models can replicate the real world tracking models well.
hence we can train our IL agent against the surrogate model offline, effective. After we train the IL agent in Harbor, we will evaluate its performance. Specifically, we will send a set of non-obvious cached personas to Harbor, which will generate a set of obvious cached personas. We will use them to evaluate Harbor from five perspectives. First, we present our privacy evaluation results. As shown in table one, Harpo can trigger more than 43% false interest segments compared after obfuscation, compared with control persona, with on average 5.2 different interest segments. Compared with all the other baselines, Harpo can achieve almost three times better performance. Also, Harpo can trigger more than 20 against the, also against the ad target model. Harpo can trigger more than 43% high beats and six times larger beat values. Compare, Harpo can outperform all the, up, all the other best lines by up to 16 times. Next, we present our overhead evaluation results. As shown in figure one, in figure one, the blue column means alpha equals to 0 0.1 and the red column means alpha equal to 0 0.2. If we compare the red column of Harpo with the red columns of other baselines, we can see that Harpo can achieve better privacy with two times less overhead. We also evaluate the system overhead of Harpo when alpha equals to 0 0.5. In terms of the increased patch load time and the CPU and memory usage, we conduct experiments on a laptop on a home Wi-Fi network. We observe that the increased patch load time is around 0 0.2 seconds, and the increased CPU and memory usage is between around 4 to 6 percent which means Harpo has a minimal impact on the overall user experience. Next, we present our stealthiness evaluation results. In real in re practice, tracker may run fraud detection in order to detect the usage of Harpo. As a, con as a counter measurement, in order to measure, uh, therefore we train a binary adversary detector to detect whether a user persona contain obfuscation URL or not. And we use the accuracy of such an adversary detector to measure the stealthiness. The results are presented in figure two, where the top right part of these figures means high privacy and stealthiness. We can see that Harpo's curve can dominate all the other baseline curves which means Harpo can achieve both higher privacy and higher stealthiness. Finally, we present up our personalization evaluation results. The motivation is that users may disallow Harpo to distort certain interest segments. For example, users may want to preserve some segments to receive related ads, or maybe they don't want to receive certain false ads caused by obfuscation. Hence, we train Harper to distort allowed segments while preserving the disallowed segments. As shown in table two with personalization, Harper can preserve the distortion in allowed segments um, while significantly reduce the distortion in disallowed segments. Before the end of this presentation, we also want to introduce the Harper extension which consists of two parts, the JavaScript front end and the Python back end. The front end will send obfuscation requests to the back end. The back end will then run the Harpo's ML model to generate obfuscation URLs and then send it back to the front end. The front end will visit the obfuscation URL using the background script. And here is our interface. Once you install Harbor, you will see a pop-up window like this. And you can also see the snapshot of your Oracle in profile. 
you can further choose to opt out some obfuscation URL categories in order to perform personalized obfuscation. In conclusion, in this work, we propose Harbor, a principled learning best approach for all OBA. We release Harbor's artifacts in this GitHub repository. Thanks for watching. Any questions? Any questions? <laughs>